Welcome to the CheckMK channel. Today we want to talk about states and events. A state is a certain status at a certain point of time. So that means, for example, if you're querying a data source of some nature, you get data. If you do that once a minute, for example, once a minute you get fresh data and that's the current state of that host or service, for example. And if this host or service doesn't provide information with the next check interval, then this data be can become outdated, which means you have a state, but the state is outdated, it's stale. You don't know about the current state, you just know that the state at some point was like that. On the other hand, events never have a certain interval. You never know when an event will be received, but it can be received at any point in time. For example, an SNMP trap or a log message could be sent at any time. There could be a critical issue on the device sending those messages, but you never know when this will occur. And that means, on the other hand, if you do not receive such an event, you never know if everything is all right or the device or the host failed so terribly that it wasn't even capable of sending you this last message that something went wrong. So what does that mean in the end? In the end, we at Tribe29 believe that state-based monitoring is the best approach because you are always aware of the current state. And even if you cannot be aware of the current state, you can realize that your data is outdated and you can investigate what's going on. On the other hand, as said, with events, that just doesn't work. If you just rely on SNMP traps or log messages being sent, you can never know if something happened or if everything is still all right. Of course, this is not a black and white question because obviously there are devices that cannot be queried for a state that only support sending SNMP traps, for example, or log messages. In that case, CheckMK is capable of being augmented with event-based monitoring, but the go-to solution and the primary approach will always be state-based monitoring. With that, I'm going to leave you for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you around.